Jeep is a manufacturer synonymous with ruggedness, adventure and freedom. They made their debut in the year 2016 with the Wrangler and the Grand Cherokee, neither of which were mass market cars and catered to a relatively niche audience. A year later, Jeep debuted the Compass, which made a huge splash and paved the way for them in the Indian market. The Compass ever since has continued to grow and evolve into the premium SUV we know it to be, along with the addition of the Made in India Wrangler. Now, there are a lot of things you would not associate with the Jeep brand, and a solid service network is probably one of them, given how relatively young the brand is in India. With the Compass Trailhawk that just made its debut, and the new Meridian right around the horizon, is Jeep really ready to cater to such an extensive SUV market? Is it really ready to take the competition to its rather fierce competition? Well, to be fair, Jeep has made some great strides to solve that image. And this compass here stands testament to that dedication. Now, there's a lot of keyboard warriors with their opinion on this subject. And I'm not one for internet chatter, but it has clouded my judgment and I'm sure it's clouded yours too. So, I've decided to get to the bottom of this and finding out for myself just how reliable Jeep Service Network really is. I've decided to set out on a road trip to the city of Bangalore and hopefully make it there without any hassle whatsoever. As you can clearly tell, I've been quite naughty with our long-term compass here. So before we set out on a long stint, I'm going to make a quick stop at the Jeep service center and make sure everything is in order before I hit the road. And yes, I want to get my Jeep to go through a complete technical diagnosis, wherein they check the underbody, oil and coolant levels, battery condition, headlamps, turn signals, brake and parking lights to make sure that they're kept in the best of health. Moreover, a quick OBD diagnosis would also tell me if there are any errors and if there are any, they can be rectified early on so that I have the peace of mind required for the journey ahead. Hi, good Hi. morning. Hello, good morning. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Yes, fine. Um, so, I hope you don't mind, I just asked him a few questions about his compass. Do you mind if I ask you a few about your compass? Yes, yeah, sure, sure. Alright, uh, so for starters, do you come and drop your compass personally for service all the time or do you usually have it picked up for service? And if you have it picked up for service, do you think the the technicians over here do a good enough job of explaining to you what's been done with your vehicle? Uh, usually I ask the service person to pick up the vehicle because I residing in the same city. Mm -hmm. So most of the times they used to explain everything over the phone mm -hmm. and uh, they used to explain about the part and services. Then I will uh, ask them to go ahead with the services. Mm -hmm. So most of the times I preferred uh, technician to uh, pick up my vehicle. By the way, what colors are your Jeeps? Mine? Yeah. Red. Red and you? I have grey. Great, nice, I like great. Sir, would you Okay, yeah, sure, sure. Alright, thank you so much for your time, guys. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. Yes. See you guys around. Yes. Drive well. Thank Stay you. Safe. Fortunately, there was nothing wrong with our compass, apart from maybe a few scratches that are bound to happen over such tricky terrain. Unfortunately, I had to hurry as the drive to Bangalore was still long and the sun would no longer be around. The roads to Bangalore were empty and open, which allowed us to cover a significant distance much sooner. However, we still made it within the city limits way past midnight. I was pretty knackered and dozed off when my head hit the pillow. Now as beautiful as the galaxy blue color is on this compass, it can be quite a dirt magnet. So. I'm going to begin my day by getting my dirty compass all cleaned up. Wow, okay. Nice thing. Oh, hey, is this your car? Yeah, yeah it's mine. Hi, the red color looks very sexy on the compass. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's... Uh... How long have you had your compass for? Uh, it's now three years. Three years. What is sometime in two, 2019. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about your Jeep ownership? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, how do you find the overall cost of ownership and the cost of spares for your compass? Like, do you have any complaints with it or do you find it accessible? Uh, so far, I have done around uh, 84,000 kilometers, as I said. And uh, I think I have done around five to six servicing. 
and uh, on an average i think the cost comes around 15000 like for f filter changes and uh, oil and all filter changes uh, brake pad i have replaced it once i think which was around 7000 so for a uh, ownership of 84000 kilometers i have spent around uh, 90 90 95000 for servicing okay. so it's kind of uh, 1 rupee per kilometer as of now one yeah one and a half yeah so yeah for this uh, vehicle which comes with a 2 liter engine and in this segment i think uh, may not be very low but yeah i think we can't yeah we cannot expect anything better than this you have no complaints with the service or anything whatsoever servicing wise no as of now uh, as i said you like i have done 5 6 servicing hmm. uh, the parts replace or uh, the wear and tear parts hmm. uh, yeah. the so you haven't pads. had to do any warranty claims or any separate fixes? Okay. No, so that's far right. yeah, right. so far there is no warranty claim done. Okay. And uh, even the paid replacements, uh, I think the duration like brake, brake pad was replaced at around 54, 55,000 kilometers. Okay. So that's a good life I feel. Okay. Have uh, you uh, opted for the yes, extended yes. warranty by the way? Yes. Okay. And do you feel like the extended warranty could have been longer or are you satisfied with the five year period that they give? Yeah, of course, I'll be happy if they can give a seven-year or a ten-year extended warranty. But uh, no complaints uh, for uh, so, five years. Like, it is five years or 1.5 mm -hmm. lakh kilometers. Uh, no complaints on that. And I think it is very much needed, considering today's car where yeah. a lot of electronics and yeah, lot of uh, mechanical True. things involved. I think extended Especially warranty. Especially our Indian conditions are also not electronically friendly. Exactly. So, so we it's... never know. Yeah, what's going to happen. Thankfully, so far, uh, all yeah. is good with me. Yeah. Like, no issues so far. But uh, whoever comes and asks me for advice regarding extended uh, warranty, I always ask mm. them to go eyes, eyes okay. closed. Yeah, because... Nice. I hope I didn't delay you any further. Thank you so much for your time uh, answering all of my no questions. No problem at all. It was nice Take talking care. to yeah. you. Lovely yeah. talking to you too. Yeah. All right, I will yeah. head out. Thanks. After completing my journey, what I can tell you for a fact is that Jeep has most certainly upped the game in terms of service consistency, quality and prices across its service network, whether it's a tier 2 city or a metropolitan city. Whew, what a long drive it's been. Thankfully, this Compass has been great company. Even though most of my queries have been answered, I still have a couple of doubts regarding the Jeep brand and its plan for its future in general. And what better person to answer these questions than Mr. Nipun Mahajan, the brand head of Jeep India himself. Unfortunately, he's located all the way in Bombay and I'm here in the city of Bangalore. And I don't plan to go back anytime soon. So I'm going to ask my editor-in-chief to take over and handle that interview and maybe put forth my doubts and my queries. I'm here to meet Mr. Nipun Mahajan, brand head Jeep India because what Gavin has done, till I hear it from the man himself, I won't be convinced and he's about to arrive any minute and there he is. Hi Nipun, thanks for coming. Hi Ravish, thank you. It's always good to have you here. Please. So Nipun, they were, uh, you know my team has been going to Satara and Bangalore, they have done the service network there and we see a lot of consistency now. So what's happening now? At uh, Jeep, uh, we believe in transparency mm -hmm. and building uh, trust with right. our customers. Right. Uh, we have revamped our services yes. and uh, with a singular promise to our customers that what we want to give is consistency okay. across locations irrespective where the customer goes for service. Right. And this is all driven by one uh, value promise to the customer. Mm -hmm. And we ensure this promise drives the operations, the processes, behavior, behavior of our people in the dealerships consistently. So I think that has been one important key. And the promise is to fix the vehicle right mm -hmm. first time. Right. Uh, to build, uh, to have be approachable. Right. To be always friendly. Right. And do a transparency in pricing. Okay. And that is what helps to our customers to live the lifestyle they want to live of adventure and freedom. Yeah. What's the number of dealerships that you have now? We have currently 70 service uh, setups across the uh, country. 
we are fairly present in the segment we operate in. Yeah, because I was surprised when my team told me that, you know, they have a submission as Satara also. Like, yeah, you're that's right. That's commendable because I think Jeep is going on off trails and places like this really matter a lot. You yeah, know? you're right. So, we cover good part of the country. In fact, from Srinagar to Kanyakumari, from Rajko to Imphal, nice, as far as that. Nice. And uh, yes, we are covered, very well covered. And we also do outreach programs for the customers. Okay. So, the areas where we are, we are not present, we have uh, partner programs. service to uh, the camps. And we, in fact, we are also developing other uh, programs right now so that we can be consistent uh, there too. So, what's with the meridian coming up? When you think the progress, we all really waiting for the meridian. When is the next? Yeah. It's going to be very exciting with Meridian. Uh, Meridian is the next level of uh, sophistication while maintaining the Jeep uh, DNA. And uh, with Meridian, we will see a customer who is looking for a good balance yeah. of Seven sophistication, seater. capability, and also it will offer more space, more comfort, and yes, it will be uh, premium. So, thank you, Nipun, for your time. And uh, on a closing note, can you tell our viewers what the pricing of Meridian is going to be? <laughs>